Guys, what's up? Your Uncle here, and I'm going to show you how to connect your Astro A50s. Uh, I decided to make a video because I had trouble doing this. Um, so let's get this started. So, what you're going to do first is get your box, or your amp, whatever it is, your box that connects the whole thing. And what you're going to do is go to the back of your computer. Um, I'm trying to use something as a kickstand, sorry. There. Behind your computer. Uh, do I have a flashlight? Yeah, I do. So, once you get to the back of your computer, you have to find what this goes into. Sorry, I don't have three hands. What this goes into so my I found mine mine's in the back uh, next to it's right there right there uh, it would have that red light um, if nothing's plugged in but also um, there should be a little knob uh, I'll show you it Oh, there should be a little knob with every computer computer if you haven't pulled it out yet. But that's where mine is. So what I'm gonna do is, and plus since this side isn't just like it's not like a whole round circle, so you have to fit it a certain way. As you guys can see. So. I'm going to have to plug it in. Here, let me, let me set this down. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got it in. As you guys can see, right there. This thing. Where my finger's at. So, once you get that, that's the hardest part. You can... So you push your computer back in. Uh, I put the knob in the back because I'm not using the knob for the computer. So it protects my amp. And then you still have to keep it out to see the USB ports. Uh, see the USB ports. You have to get uh, one of them. I prefer the short one to be uh, powering the amp. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to plug it in. As you guys see, it's plugged in. And then once you get that plugged in, you have to plug in, plug it into the amp. And it should be from here. It's plugged in. Uh, you don't even have to plug in the third thing, which is this, this cord, I like doing it, the long one, uh, because I could reach my amp more, uh, while I'm sitting at the computer, so I could actually play while I'm doing this, um, but if you guys want to put it in, it charges your headset, so you're still going to have to put it in to charge it, so, you plug that in, um, it comes with the stand, you guys don't have to use the stand, I'm gonna grab it though, and put it a little bit higher so there's not too many cords sitting at one area, this product you'll get this, uh, make sure both of these are on, and if you need to sync your headset, you just, uh, hold the headset and you'll hold the power button on the adapter, which I'm not going to, you don't have to uh, resync it each time when you put it in the Xbox and the computer. Uh, there's also problems uh, for me. I don't know why. There's also problems uh, through the computer, which I'll show you guys my settings, and I will be right back. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm back, and this is the video for the Astro A50s connection. I want to show you what I had to do, uh, so, 
uh, wrong thing, sorry. You have to go to control panel, hardware and sound, sound, and once you get to this, uh, you get, you have to click on this, make it your default, so push this button once you go down to here, and then recording sound, uh, make sure your, your front mic on your headset is on, or your headset microphone, I don't know why both of these are here. Um, as you saw, it's working. You can see the bar is moving. And I have it at Windows default. Uh, Windows startup sound. I don't think I really changed that. And then, uh, you can set this however you want. Reduce the volume of other sounds by 80%. If you're, this, this is only if you're using a telephone, uh, with your Astro, so you could, like, call for pizza and stuff. And then, uh, you're going to push properties. Once you're done with checking all those, uh, you're going to go to, um, make sure you set up all these like this. It'll be digital. Um, levels, 100. Enhancement. I don't know, I haven't played with that yet. And make sure it's at two channel twenty four bit four thousand uh forty eight thousand uh h c studio quality i'm gonna test it it'll play on the left side then on the right side uh quit out that i'm gonna go through the properties of the headset not really much and then um then you have to go on Realtek HD Audio Manager, and then you have to click on your digital output right here, and just make it all the way up. That can mess it up. Uh, these doesn't matter. Uh, front mic, uh, playback. It's on my left. Recording volume on. High. Oh, it's all the way up. Okay. Uh, and then this is a little bit down. This is so I could hear my voice. Uh, I feel like I want to hear my voice a little bit more. Uh, you could put noise, reduce static background noise when recording, which I'm going to. And this is the look, this is basically the picture of what you have to plug in that connects the sound to your headset. And I'm going to push OK. And then you're basically done. It should work in a game. So I'm going to open up a video. To, show, uh, to tell you guys that I that it works it works for me I could hear it my intro I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you on the next one